Hello, dear friends, and thank you for joining us. Those that have been with us for a while and anyone new, you are welcome, and I am so thankful and grateful that you are here today to share in mindful expression. We will share our daily affirmational reading for positive mindset from our day book of comfort and joy by Sarah Von Brethnoff. And then in commentary leading into the Gospels, the true and ultimate eternal book, our Holy Bible in scripture for our day and night comfort and protection from our God that we serve and walking in our Lord, King and Savior, Christ Jesus. Let us start with our daily affirmational book by Sarah Von Brethnock, March 10, 2021. You are not your appearance, but does the rest of the world know that? The tragedy of our time is that we are so eye-centered, so appearance besotted. Jessamine West. All of us can pull ourselves together some of the time, and some of us can pull ourselves together all of the time. But none of us wants to be pulled together every single moment of our lives. Let's consider those days when you just don't give a damn or you're too exhausted to remember to pick up a brush. Can we find inspiration in dirty jeans, an unwashed face, stringy hair? Can there be incarnational revelations with the skirt that is too tight and the pantyhose that pull at your hips? I hope so. For I know those days, and those days know me. Probably you were taught, as I was, that how we present ourselves to the world is very important. Unfortunately, our outside packaging counts for far more than it really should. Often, we don't live up to the world's expectations of how we should look or behave. We fall victim to a vicious circle of self-loathing and denial that can be difficult to escape from unscathed. At times like these, it's a comfort to remember that our souls are more dazzling than cellophane. Beauty is an eternal light, a spiritual radiance that all women have, but most women hide unconsciously denying its existence. What we do claim remains invisible, Marianne Williamson observes in A Woman's Worth. But as you become more intimate with your authentic self, as you recover your true incandescent identity, there will come a gradual but undeniable physical transformation. It is absolutely impossible to commit to your spiritual growth, awaken to your own radiant light, and not have it reveal itself on the outside. It is God's will that we be beautiful, that we love and be loved and prosper in all good things. Marianne Williamson's reminds us, it is God's will that we become the goddesses we are created to be. Now let us turn to the gospel and let us look what God says about how we should look at ourselves and what we should show to the world. With the world always from the beginning of time, as our conscious minds know, has always thrown extreme mixed messages about how women's beauty should be and our appearances. With such heavy extremism that puts on all peoples, especially women and our young girls, it makes it quite difficult to have a clear visual understanding of what a healthy perspective of beauty is, so it's important to teach what God's perspective is on beauty and our bodies by reading our Bible verses about beauty and the body. And extremely important as well to meditate in prayer with our daughters on these key scriptures that I'm going to share with you today here in Mindful Expression. We will be looking at the key scriptures that relate to appearance and beauty and uphold them and how we uphold them in our walk with Christ Jesus. 
Let us turn to Psalms. I put these on my big board and wrote out the scriptures because I'm wearing my contacts today and trifocals are hard to get used to. So let us turn to the book of Psalms in the Old Testament, chapter 139, excuse me, verses 114. Excuse me. Let us turn to Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. I praise you because I am fearly and wonderfully made of your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Basically, this means you are created in God's image and God doesn't make junk. He just, he doesn't. Like snowflakes, every person is unique and special and beautiful in God's eyes. Here's what God's word states about how the world views and focuses on beauty. We can look to the Old Testament in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. What this means, basically, is the world focuses on people's outside appearance and how we appear to them. God focuses on what we look like inside. It's important to discuss with our daughters about Christian and other children's ways, such as finding the right outfit, getting a tan, having the perfect body, or even finding the right lip gloss. And there is nothing wrong with wanting to look pretty. However, we need to stress a balance. God would rather see us become drop dead gorgeous inside like you know the kind of girl who talks to God every day that medit prays and meditates on reading the Bible let us look to 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 3 through 4 <clears throat> where God's a little more direct a lemon water <clears throat> it's good for your liver and your kidneys. So let's look to 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3-4, through four, where God is a little more direct about beauty, the body. Your beauty should not come from outward adornments, such as braided hair and wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be of your inner self, the unfolding beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. The scripture verse here isn't saying that you can't do these things, braid your hair, wear nice clothing or jewelry. It, it is speaking of a fact, experience, story and example of how not to focus on such extremes in the world as they put on our children and ourselves, like the Egyptians women did during their time period. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> during their time period, the Egyptian women that some women still do today. God would rather see women work on becoming and involving in spiritual beauties on the inside, the kind of beauty that lasts forever. Some of the verses we have shared today and the others for it from in the Gospels. <clears throat> mm, there is something not working in my throat. Excuse me. <clears throat> so as I was saying, like some of the verses we have shared here today, you can, can place them on the bathroom mirrors as daily reminders to strengthen our daughters to be inwardly and God-focused on walking in truth and action of our Heavenly Father and His Word and our Lord, King, and Savior, Christ Jesus, and be there for us grown women as well. So, 
It is to say that the world is not our friend. Our world is obsessed with the flesh. And when we choose to live in spirit and walk with Christ, he provides through scriptural verse, meditative prayer with God, the knowledge and wisdom and the protection, allowing us these strengths to not be in the pressures of this type of dilemma. Consistently feeling inadequate after watching commercials of beauty products that only project altered images of women as well as what we see in social media or at school and work and be God focused in scripture for God made you special just as you see yourself in a healthy mindset and a mindset in your own mirror. So now I would like to share with you some fact reference scriptures that you can share with your daughter and in prayer and meditation as well as for yourself. You can read and meditate with God in prayer with your daughter for remembrance of your grown woman beauty are 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 8 which is about exercising and staying in shape 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 1 Corinthians chapter 11 5 through 10 Colossians chapter 3 verses 2 Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 Romans chapter 12 verses 1 through 2 Titus chapter 2 verses 7 through 8 1 Corinthians chapter 6 19 through 20 Romans 14 chapter 14 and Romans verse 30 13 Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 Proverbs chapter 31 verses 25 which are scriptures about dressing scriptures about girl and woman's body again you can look to 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 9 through 10 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 4 Mark chapter 5 verses 25 through 34 Again, you can also look back to 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 9 through 10. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 4. And as I find myself repeating myself, Mark chapter 5 verses 25 through 34. Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 through 23 also in 1st Corinthians chapter 11 verse 15 and 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verses 23 through 24 Colossians chapter 3 verse 19 and Ephesians chapter 5 verses 28 through 30 Proverbs chapter 5 verses 1 through 7 Or Proverbs chapter 5 verses 1 and 7 excuse me Proverbs chapter 5 verse 1 and Proverbs chapter 7 verse 27 there are other verses to seek on a girl's mind body and spiritual soul to live your truth as God created hers and your purpose of purpose I hope that you take this opportunity and enjoy these scriptures with yourself and your daughter or daughters in prayer and meditation with our Heavenly Father when walking with our Lord Christ Jesus. He is our light. He is the way, and the one true God, and he will fill you with the beauty that you seek. This has been a wonderful presentation for me to share with you today in Mindful Expression. I'm Lady Kathleen Marie. For those that don't know, you can also view me on YouTube, like and comment. I would greatly appreciate that. It is underneath my name, Lady Kathleen Marie Phipps. And I hope to see you there as I always enjoy seeing you here. 
So please, take care of you, take care of me. Please be good to yourself and please be good to others. As God has instructed us to do, it's all in the Bible. We're all in there, already written in there, and exactly what we need to do, who we are, how to do it. And above all, praise and glorify our Father and His master plan, because even though we can get overwhelmed and frustrated down here, His plan, God's will will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And when He creates and purifies and makes the new heaven on earth, we're going to be in our perfect state, walking with our Lord Christ and Savior Jesus and doing our good works. So let's walk with him down here and do our good works down here, my dear friends. Jesus loves you. He wants to be your friend. I want to be your friend. And you always have a friend here in Mindful Expression. God bless you and yours. And I'll see you tomorrow, live, in more Mindful Expression. Amen.